what it do it's your girl Kayla welcome to my channel if you're new here if you're not new here what's good what's going on all right y'all so today is Sunday it's October the 29th it is approximately 10 1 p.m. I was about to say a.m. and y'all if y'all watch my last vlog then y'all would know I literally just ended that vlog probably a couple of hours ago but I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and start this week's vlog tonight on a Sunday which I don't think I've ever done before I always started Monday morning so I decided that like I wasn't finna let these cramps get me and I wasn't finna be productive because I just really want this week to be kind of like smooth not like having like stuff to do and just thinking about all the things I gotta do so tonight I just decided that I'm just be productive so as of right now y'all I am well I'm actually watching YouTube I'm watching Ava Galore but also I'm uploading the last vlog footage and y'all Tell me why I'm over here using CapCut. I'm over here using CapCut because my Final Cut Pro trial is up. It's up. It said, bitch, either buy it or quit. And I had to click quit. I mean, I didn't have to, but $300 for that app right now just ain't sitting right with me. So I told myself, we're going to take it back to iMovie or we're going to try CapCut again. So here we are trying CapCut once again. <sighs> And the only thing I don't like about CapCut is like I'm uploading the footage, but it's not showing me how far along it is. Like, is it? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I don't know what's on here and what's not. So like, I'm just having to let it sit until it tell me that all the footage is added. Who, who knows how long that's gonna take? With Final Cut Pro, it's like a little circle at the top, so you know like when the footage is done and it tells you, it gives you a notification. It's like everything is uploaded. But with CapCut, I don't. I don't know if I got don't have a notification on or what like I don't know if you know let me know but yeah I'm trying to figure out when I am gonna buy Final Cut Pro because honestly like I I like Final Cut Pro I was having the worst time with it like if you're not new here you know like it took me days to learn how to work Final Cut Pro but y'all once I learned how to work it I'm just in the game like I worked it so fast and so easy like I movie so now here we go back to cap cut we're gonna see how that goes but anyways i also decided to cook because i told y'all we is not gonna keep eating out last week we made spaghetti this week we got cabbage rice and baked chicken let me show y'all what we got on the menu all right y'all here go the cabbage i already didn't put my rice in here for my lunch for the week i need to make one more and then that's my baked chicken and i'm definitely about to eat a little bit right now because your girl is hungry i haven't ate since right before me and tati had went um to the park i had did i end up telling i didn't even tell you that i had ate wendy's i ate a um, burger from wendy's and that's all i ate so i'm actually pretty hungry so i'm about to eat a little something something and then i'm also thinking about going ahead and putting that vanity up tonight y'all i feel like i've been sitting on it for far too long like seriously and i don't want to like because i got two things to do this week which require me to put my makeup on and I just rather not have that area in my room looking a mess. Like, I just can't do it. Like, the makeup is sitting on the floor. The drawer is sitting on the floor. Like, I just don't want to do it. So, I want my week to just start off with me having, like, a super clean house. With me having really nothing to do for real. Um, the only thing that, that I really got to do probably for real is wig collapse. But, I don't know. I'll strictly put that, i strictly put that, like, on the weekends. I'm not doing a wig collapse during the week. I'm, I don't have the capacity. Cause after I get home from work and y'all know I'm working out too, like I'm, I, I don't got time to do it. It's just not gonna work. So that's gonna be for the weekend. But yeah, I got a lot of things to do this weekend, which is gonna be pretty exciting. I'm ready for the weekend, cause like I got some fun stuff to do. So of course y'all gonna be coming along with your girl for that. But yeah, um, let me go ahead and eat, and then we're gonna put up this vanity. We're gonna put this vanity up. What time? Okay, I want to be in the bed by 12 o'clock at the latest. So I'm going to come back when we about to put this table up. Wow. Wow. Yeah, look at me dead in my eyes. I know that you know that a nigga ain't lying. Too much respect. All of my shorty BDs, they know not to try. Too much respect. I used to hand out CDs before they were buying. Wow. She love me so much, it seems like she buys. Niggas don't know how I live, but that's because they live at the high. Hey. Oh, L13 stepping on shit to the spot. He brought me the money sealed up. I still had to count it, I cannot just hide. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, let's have sex in the bank. Telling her open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. 
the diamonds they hit like a rainbow. That's cause the neck is a frame. Her. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's that's that. Period, uh, period. Ooh, we got it done, period. So, it, look, it even look brand new, y'all. Because the other one was, like, scraped up, scratched up or whatever. So, we're done with that. But now I need to go ahead and wash these clothes. Y'all got a whole bunch of clothes in here that need to be washed. And I already then got my little work clothes out, y'all. Today, I'm really proud of me. Because I was feeling real down bad. But I'm getting a lot of stuff done. This is literally the only thing that I have to do. Um, I got the other table sitting in the living room. I'm going to throw that away tomorrow. I don't feel like taking that out to the dumpster right now, girls. It's damn, what time it is? 11.34 at night. So, I'm definitely about to go ahead and, oh my God, y'all, this smells so freaking good. When I tell y'all, I refuse to ever switch from this right here. This, this going to do it for me every single time. But once I get these clothes in this washing machine, I'm about to go ahead and get in this bed, babe. Well, I mean, take a shower first. I gotta take a shower, make sure I brush my teeth. And I'm gonna see y'all in the morning, babe. Hopefully we wake up early. It's so crazy because last week when I didn't vlog, y'all, why did I wake up? I didn't even wake up on time. I woke up early every single day last week. Literally, y'all. So hopefully I can do the same thing. Fingers crossed. I'm gonna set me a couple like earlier alarms to see if that helps. So good night. <laughs> Hear you talking about we a lot, you speak French now. Mm. Giving me the sign, so I gotta take a hand now. I hit you up like, do you wanna hang right now? Mm. On the east side, and you know I'm with the gang right now. You say, do I wanna watch? I know what time it is right now. It's after 3 a.m., I know that's asking a lot of you right now. All he ever say is come and see me for once. Come and see me, you don't ever come to me, yeah. All he ever say is come and see me for once. Come and see me, you don't ever come to me, yeah. Happy Monday. We're in the car finally. I woke up. I didn't wake up early, but I did wake up late. So, I'm going to say we woke up right on time today, which is great because y'all know one thing about me. I'm going to get up a little bit later than I'm supposed to. But I woke up with kind of a headache, and I really believe it's due to me wearing this glueless wig. I swear, whenever I'm wearing frontals, my headaches don't occur as much. But whenever it comes to these glueless wigs because you've got this elastic band on there squeezing, I get headaches and like I got the elastic band y'all to the literally least that it can go like the wig is loose as hell like it's loose like the in, anybody want to just pull a bitch back a little bit it's gonna be off and I still feel the tension like all around here and it's like really like uh, somebody take me some excedrin <sighs> that way hopefully by the time I get to work it kick in because bro I don't got time I be keeping water in the car, child. Just, this water been in here about two, three days, but it's all right. I probably need to go ahead and eat too, though. I ended up making me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich for lunch this morning. Um, I don't know why. I guess, like, I don't know. Something just told me, like, I want a peanut butter and jelly sandwich instead of, like, grits and uh, sausage, which I usually do. <clears throat> Um, also, you know, I packed my lunch after I made my little sandwich or whatever. When I tell y'all, I ate down on last night's dinner, okay, y'all? When I ate, when I ate my little plate last night, y'all, that plate was so good. I haven't made cabbage, cabbage in a long time. It was just so freaking good. So now I just need to start thinking of a lot of stuff that I haven't made in a minute so I can start back making it because I've been making the same thing over and over again. I ain't gonna lie, I've been a little pasta warrior. I am definitely like a chicken, broccoli, potato warrior. Like, that's all I be cooking for real because that be the only thing I have a taste for. But, like, I just need to start cooking stuff outside of that. I really, really want to make a roast real soon. I actually only made a roast one time in my life. So, I kind of want to see what that's about. But I need a crock pot if I'm going to do that. I know I don't need one, but I would like one. So, I need to get me a crock pot soon because I really want to, like, definitely hop back into my cooking bag. Because I can't keep eating out like that. You know, I think that's one of the reasons I was gaining a lot of weight too. Because I eat out a lot. Okay. So the goal this week is not to eat out. Ooh, but now that I think about it. 
I don't know. Maybe it might not be too hard. It might not be too hard. Oh, let me tell y'all what I got going on this week. So today, um, Monday, I'm going to just use today as like a editing day. And then I'm going to go work out today. Because tomorrow I got invited to this Halloween party. Tomorrow is Halloween. So I got invited to like this creatives and like industry Halloween party. I don't know if it's a costume party or not. I didn't ask the boy who invited me. I'm like... Um, is it a costume party? Because I don't see that nowhere on the flyer. He was like, you can. We're not tripping on people if they do or don't. But my thing is, like, either it's a costume party or it's not. You know what I'm saying? You don't tell people to, to show up in a costume or don't. Like, what you mean? Because if I'm the only bitch in a costume, when I get there, I'm going to be mad. So, I'm just not going to wear a costume. And then with me not wearing a costume and everybody else got on one, I'm going to feel like a damn party pooper. So... I don't know. I just decided I'm not going to wear no costume. And, and secondly, because I ain't feel like buying one. Because y'all know uh, Fashion Over wants to be high as hell. And claim that the costumes is 50% off the whole time they not. They really hiking up the prices. Anytime y'all ever see sites like Fashion Over, Pretty Little Thing. Whenever the, the site is 50% off, they have raised the prices. Like... If you a shopper like me, I literally be on those sites every other day. So I, I literally see the changes in prices. So girl, that stuff really do not be on sale. So I didn't want to buy no new costume anyway. So I was like, oh, well, it is what it is. So yeah, I got that to do on Tuesday. Wednesday, Ebony want me to go to a concert with her. I think it's ESTG, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on, let me merge. But yeah, um, I think it's ESTG. I really can't remember. She said the tickets like 40 something dollars. She was like, fuck it, she just wanna go. I only listen to ESTG like every now and then. Like he's not somebody I just get in the car and wanna listen to. I gotta really be in the mood. But I told her I would go with her because I mean, shit, I don't know. Me and Ebony always taking out. So I like to show up for people and do stuff that they like to do just as much as I like people to show up and do stuff that I like to do. So we doing that. On Thursday, y'all know that's my last day of the week. I don't have anything planned since I am doing something Tuesday and Wednesday. I don't think I'm going to do nothing on Thursday this weekend. I don't even really think I got no plans, but that's what the week supposed to be looking like. So with me going somewhere Tuesday and Wednesday, that means I'm going to have to work out Monday, Thursday, Friday this week. And I'm going to have to figure out my editing schedule, bro, because y'all, just when I thought I figured out the cap cut important stuff like i do not know how to import clips onto cap cut to save my life y'all it's literally not the same what the fuck who they blowing at because bitch i know they ain't blowing at me I know you ain't coughing at me ho girl but um what i was saying cap cut y'all like you literally cannot edit on cap cut unless you have the SD card into the computer the whole time. I never edit a video in one setting, ever. A full video, ever. And I just don't understand how the clips cannot upload to CapCut and stay there. Like, as soon as I take the SD card out, the clips are gone. I don't have the time or the patience, so I don't know what I'm gonna do this week. I might have to cave and, um, I might have to cave and buy Final Cut. Like, I might just have to or just use I'm moving for this week but I feel like uh the quality of my videos is gonna suffer I don't know I guess we'll see and does it ever bother y'all because when I'm editing it kind of bothers me a little bit just a little bit does it bother y'all when I'm on the highway talking like can y'all hear me good I mean I'm a loud ass person in general so I know y'all can hear me but like can y'all hear me good or like is that annoying because if it's annoying I won't do that I would just talk to y'all like before and after I get out the car because I don't know I'm just asking because y'all the audience you know what I'm saying like I'm just wondering I'm just wondering and y'all I am so upset why did power not come on this week I goes to watch it last night when I didn't got in the bed Girl, I ain't seen no new episode. It almost broke my heart. Y'all know that's my favorite show of the season right now. Like, they gonna do me like that. They didn't give you no warning or nothing. Usually when there's a delay, they let you know, like, oh, we gonna be back in two weeks. But just know whenever power skip a week, that next episode about to be good. Girl, the last episode was good. I can't believe they killed that boy, girl. 
I cannot believe they killed that little boy. It's so crazy because I knew he was about to die though. Like soon as he knocked the boy out, I knew they was about to shoot him because girl, you know, niggas just don't know what else to do when they get beat up, girl. They just gotta get a gun. It's really crazy. And I'm wondering like if the nephew gonna come back into the picture, like how that's gonna go since Kate then came back. Kate gonna mess some some stuff up. I feel like Kate is gonna really like I don't know what she gonna do, but she gonna do something to mess it up. Tommy gonna get caught with the sister. Cause too many people know about it now. But I mean he already kinda beefing with Miguel. Miguel gonna Miguel already don't fuck with that man. So I feel like Miguel really good about to have it out for Tommy, but Tommy being the main character, he not gonna die. So we gotta see how that's gonna play out. Girl, Diamond and killed the PO officer. I forgot about that. Girl, wait. Now wait. Yo, this man then killed the PO. First and foremost, I understand why he did go in the spiral. You know, when I'm with the little boy dying. But you in a barbershop with all the coke on the ground, drinking, talk about this is who I am. Like, come on now, we ain't got time for the dramatics. We don't got time for it. Girl, that man came in there with them handcuffs, but I don't even I don't even know why the PO thought it was about to be that easy to arrest the man and bring him back to jail. Like, let's be let's be for real. That boy said, I'm not going back. Girl, then sliced the man neck open. And Tommy was happy about that. See, one thing about Tommy, Tommy like a person who ain't got nothing to lose because he don't got nothing to lose for real. I mean, now he, now he kind of does with him having like his brother and his, his nephew and all that. But the best thing about Tommy has always been that Tommy had nothing to lose. So now that he know Diamond ain't got nothing to lose, he know it's up for them. Girl, power is my show, y'all. I love power. Like, y'all know, I've been talking about power every vlog because, like, they just be doing what needs to be done. I saw that Raising Canaan is coming on um, in December, so I'm excited about that. I just love all those, like, all that, that whole network is just, it's tea. You know what I'm saying? It's tea. That's enough of my little morning rambling chat. I feel like I'm just talking too, too much. But I'm in a good mood today, which means that today is probably going to be good. This week is going to be good, so we're going to speak it into existence. Send up a little prayer before we get to working. And, you know, we're going to have a good one. So I'm going to see y'all either on my break or I'm going to see y'all when I get home from work. What's going on? I'm back home from work. I'm out of break because I had to go check the mail. We got some collabs in. I got some, um, let me show y'all actually. So we got a haul on the way per we collab on TikTok and um, Lash collab on TikTok. So we got us some things to do this week. Uh -huh. Well, weekend actually. The only thing I might do this week is these lashes because I might, I might do these lashes tomorrow since I gotta go somewhere. But um, the rest of the stuff is um, going to be the weekend for shit show. But y'all, when I say today has literally been a day, like I've been in so much pain to the point where like I could barely work for real. Like I just felt out of it. I was in so much pain. I barely ate today, y'all. I literally, I didn't eat that peanut butter and jelly sandwich that I made until like 12 o'clock. And then I only ate half of that. My lunch came around at 2. I ended up eating all my cabbage. But, like, I had to force myself to eat it. Like, I just didn't really want it for real. And now, like, I'm at home. I'm about to eat now. And I don't know. I'm still just not feeling it. I said I was going to go work out. I'm trying to, like, fight through it. Um, But I don't know. I, I don't think I'm going to go work out. I ain't even going to lie. I'm kind of sad, disappointed. Because I do want to go. But if I'm not feeling it, I'm going to get down there and, like, be done in five minutes. Like, because I'm, I'm I don't feel good. And I'm just like, uh, the motto ain't helping. So annoying. I should have took them damn ibuprofen from Kitty House. That girl had them 800s. I should have took some. Because damn. I told myself to get some too because I know my period's about to come on. But yep, yeah, that's where we at with it today. I mean, it wasn't a bad day, but it was just a day full of like me just wanting to lay down. Like, today was one of those days where I just like kind of wish that I could just lay down. And do nothing because I couldn't even focus like I'd be doing something and I just had to like stop me like and just you know sit there hell I hope I feel good tomorrow to be able to go 
Cause I already done told this boy I was gonna come. I done bailed on him so many times, but I said this event I was gonna do cause I always be like, I'm busy or I can't go. And it's crazy because whenever he invites me to events, I just never feel like going or I just don't feel up to going. So I hope tomorrow I feel up to going. And girl, thinking about my week, y'all, why, why is this week a traditional work week? And what that means is, cause everybody in the office, we work a four day week. What that means is everybody is required to come into the office the Monday through Friday. Y'all know I'm off on Fridays, so. Traditional work week because it's it's basically homecoming week for the office. Spirit week, that's what it is, girl. Today was decade day, tomorrow costume day. Honestly, I ain't gonna lie, I might not participate. Just cause, like, I ain't in the, I ain't in the mood. I'm not feeling the vibes. And I'm mad I got to go to work on Friday. Like, I really did not even know that until this morning. When I say that was another thing that kind of annoyed me throughout the day. Because I'm really thinking about, I'm like, oh, I got something to do Tuesday and Wednesday. I'm going to be tired and I'm going to sleep in on Friday. That's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we are. Here we are. Anyways, um... Went to go check the mail. Got some mail. Let me see what I got, girl. These companies be sending the same stuff over and over again. I don't understand. Like, why do y'all keep sending me the same stuff y'all send me through email? But one thing I did get was um, this invitation from my job. Because we having a, um, it's like a black tie event for the firm anniversary this, this year. So, um, they sent out. Golly, they sent out, what is it called? Invitations. These are actually really cute and really nice. Ah, okay, okay. So, yes, bro, I had to get me a dress from Fashion Nova. Let me show y'all what I bought. I actually just bought this dress today, y'all, because, I don't know, I wasn't even really thinking about it. And it was like, what you wearing? What you wearing? I was like, oh, I don't have nothing to wear yet. But I found this dress on, on Fashion Nova. It's kind of like this dress was calling my name because, like, I scrolled for a little second. I'm like, damn, I don't see nothing. Then, boom, I was like, oh, this the one. And they almost, they only had a couple left in my size. So I got it. This is so cute. I'm hoping it look like that on me. I ain't got no boobs, but I should give the shape that it's supposed to be giving. You know what I'm saying? Okay, this is really nice. Girl, what else happened today, y'all? Not really much, man. I don't want to do nothing but eat and lay down. For real, for real. I ain't gonna lie, man. One thing about my period, it's gonna, it's gonna throw me off track every single time. This was the same reason why I didn't work out that other week. And it's the same reason I had started working out all together not too long ago. I really feel like I'm gonna be up to go Thursday. And I think I'm gonna do an intense workout on Thursday. I feel like that'll work for me. That was my Monday. <laughs> um, I guess I'll see y'all in the morning. The next day. Yo, yo, yo. It's Tuesday, y'all. I didn't vlog all day. I really didn't want to put that on my head. I didn't vlog all day, y'all, because, I don't know, I just didn't feel like picking up my camera this morning. And I knew I had something to do tonight, so I was like, I could vlog later. It's 6.54. And your girl is putting on her makeup. I just got out the shower. And I'm getting ready to go to the event I was telling y'all about. So the event is a Halloween party because it is Halloween. Happy Halloween. The last official day of spooky season is here. And this is um the flyer. I'm about to show y'all the flyer. So it is a Halloween Taco Tuesday. So I don't know what the vibe's giving. I don't know like if it's a party, a kickback. I really don't know what it's giving. But that's what it is. It says, come party with the next generation of industry professionals. The night will be filled with food, drinks, games, and more. So this is the event that I'm going to. The I told y'all the boy who invited me. I honestly don't know what he do. He do a lot. Like he, I think he worked for a radio station. I also think that. He do party. I don't know, y'all. I don't even know how me and him started following each other, if I'm being honest. Like, I just know that he's one of the people that has always kind of, I don't know, supported me when it came to YouTube. And it, it's really crazy because he kind of stick out to me for that because he is kind of like the only guy, I think, that just kind of used to reach out to me and was like, keep going. Like, what you doing is dope, blah, blah, blah. Like, stuff like that. 
oh yes y'all i'm so happy that i got my draw back i don't gotta keep digging to the floor to get my makeup done and all that girl like woo but yeah so like he's been like you know one of the people that just kind of like i guess saw me and was like okay and he just been real supportive ever since uh, i think i had told y'all like i get invited to stuff all the time he the one who be inviting me and i never go so i was like i gotta go so we're going and i mean it's halloween why not get out the house i feel like i'm gonna be tired tomorrow but it's okay that's all right that's okay you're gonna pump our gas one day <laughs> and i also think i'm about to go ahead and get this um lash collab done on tiktok because i mean i need to put some lashes on and i don't want to put no strips on so here we go why did i put this on my head i really don't like makeup on my forehead like i don't know why but i just don't it's like, it'll never really blend. Because my forehead is just so dark from the rest of my face. I mean, when I contour it, it helps. But it still be looking ashy. Like, I don't know. My whole face look ashy. That's one thing about Fenty. Like, Fenty will have you looking real crazy until it oxidizes. But I had just wanted to come in and update y'all. Because I ain't talked to y'all all day. So, I'm like, let me get on this camera, girl. And um, talk to y'all while I get ready. But I'm about to go ahead and listen to my music. Y'all know I can't do nothing without listening to a little something, something in the background. She yeah, has so I'm gonna listen to my music and I guess I'll make this a little montage. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. We gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. I guess I'm doing what I want. Who y'all? I always struggle with finding an outfit. I have so many clothes, but yeah, I can never put nothing together. Like stuff just don't be flowing. So you always know I'ma go black and simple. Period. So I got on this black um top, these mom jeans that I just had in my last haul, and I'ma put on my Ricky dupes, the black ones. Yeah, the black ones. What purse? I think I want to wear this purse. I'm feeling a little razzle dazzle tonight. Oh, oh, girl. I almost just broke my neck. Y'all know that little spinning chair, girl. Anyways, I'm thinking about doing this purse. Just to add a little razzle. Should I be extra? I don't want to be extra. But I'm going to put these in the purse just in case. You know, just in case. Okay. All right. Now we need to moisturize it on up. Child, me and uh, Tati was just talking about this Fenty today. And um, she was asking me what I was getting from the Sephora sale. I said, girl, I don't think I'm a member. Because it may seem like I be at Sephora a lot, but I really don't. I shop at Ulta for real. So I need to start shopping at Sephora so I can start getting my little points up and all that. But we was talking about body butters. And I'm like, bro, I was so focused on not using too much of my good stuff. So I wasn't using it at all. I <laughs> quite literally forgot I had it. And I think I even told y'all that. And even after I told y'all that, I proceeded to not use it. <laughs> so we're going to use it. Get all moisturized and smelling good and wetting on it. I'm so out of breath, y'all. When I say, like, getting ready is the Olympics for me. Like, I turn my music on and I get to it. Oh, y'all, and I did the lash color. Why is my eye red? Y'all can't see, but this eye right here is red. Like, it is so red. And I don't know if it's because, like, I had stuck myself in it. Or if these lashes is irritating me. Because y'all know me. My eyes and lashes, they just have not been getting along lately. This body butter smells so freaking good. Then Ebony just asked me, um, do I want to stop at her house first? Because we were supposed to pregame. We were supposed to drink some. Um, She wanted tequila. I was hoping that she didn't want to drink no more because... That seems like a lot, but she wants some, um, damn, I just had a burn for it, because now I'm thinking about what watch I'm going to put on. I wanted to wear that other, that silver watch, but I'm going to wear that silver watch with this purse. But anyways, she wanted me to come over there so we could, um, drink. We ended up getting champagne instead, because they going to have liquor done, and I got to go to work in the morning, so I ain't knowing too, too much. So, I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to stop at her house first or just... Let's bring the bottle. I'm trying to figure out if we should just bring the champagne with us because I don't want to show up empty-handed type vibes. I don't know. I don't know. 
I kind of really wanted to wear that silver watch, but this purse got gold on it. I might have to say F the purse. I just might have to say F the purse. But I like the purse. I don't know what to do. All right, I changed my mind. It's really giving silver kind of night. Hold the front door. Hold up. Where the fuck my watch at? Hold up. Hold up, girl. What did I do with my watch? Where's my watch? Where is my watch? No, because I really real life haven't seen that watch in a minute. Uh, hold on. Oh, oh. It smells like nothing but weed out here, girl. Okay, we have made it. Oh my goodness, y'all. It's officially cold as fuck outside. Like, it's. Ooh, I'm about to get in a car with Ebony. Because it don't really look like too many people here, y'all. Like, I don't know what's going on. Ebony got the champagne. I be, yeah, I be doing that sometimes. Yeah, this look cute. Thanks. Girl, I was trying to figure I'm like, I ain't trying to do too much, but I ain't trying to be looking crazy. Mm -hmm. These damn lashes keep getting in my eye. How was your day at work today? Girl, it was good. How was yours? I was off today. I had work oh, five yeah, days straight, but I was off today. I saw you do five uh, out of five. Yeah, I um I went oh, to the dance. Okay, y'all, we do. Oh, yeah. oh, With yeah. the vibe. It's like a studio oh, or something. Yeah. What are you saying? Yeah. 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 Okay, y'all, we playing Carisha, please. <laughs> and the car said, you gotta race the person to your right. <laughs> you gotta race the person to your right. <laughs> or take a shot, and she said they go race. So we outside about to race. Ooh, it's cold, bro. Damn, where y'all about to race at? I don't know. Let it be short. She cheated. She cheated, and she still won. And she still won. Wait a minute. <laughs> bitch, these leather seats got me freezing, bitch. I'm so cold right now. I can't wait to get in my bed. How far you is from home? 14 I think I'm 15. I love how my phone just be like, you want to go home, bitch? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> it's time, bitch. It's time to go home. It is 11.54. I'm honestly proud of us because when me and Ebony get together, we don't fucking go home, y'all. Like, we just don't know how to go home. Oh, I just scraped. I hate, like, going off of, like, little cliffs or whatever because it be scraping, but it ain't scraped for real, but it scraped a little bit. But anyways, I love when we just kind of, like, stick to the schedule or the plan because like when me and ebony get together y'all we be out all night the last time me and ebony went out together we didn't get home till like three or four o'clock in the morning and i had to go to work the next day but tonight <laughs> i'm gonna be home by 12 30 at the latest and i'm elated <laughs> bars ah at the latest and i'm elated because seriously like i'm so ready to get home Oh, y'all, I'm just doing a dash right now. Hold on, let me pay attention. Okay. Made it in the house at 12.09. On the dot. My eyes watering. These lashes. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Like, these are not regular lashes. They do not want to come off my eyes. So, I see myself having these on for the rest of the week. <laughs> like, literally, look. I'm literally pulling them. Like, regular lashes would have came off by now. This is not fucking sponsored, okay? <laughs> Seriously, y'all. Like, they own them. So, like, ugh, I'm gonna have to wipe this makeup off my face. Take these clothes off. I'm hungry. Like, I ate two tacos that, but that wasn't enough. I am hungry a little bit. Don't mind that. There's some Christmas ornaments that fell out the closet earlier when I was looking for a jacket. I'm gonna make me a sandwich. I got a sandwich stuff, but I don't feel like doing it. Okay, so that's it. That's all. I'm about to go ahead, shower, eat, and go to bed. I gotta wake up at 7 o'clock at the fucking latest so I can get ready for work and go to work.
And then tomorrow we're going to a whole concert, y'all. I bought my ticket tonight. We're going to ESTG concert tomorrow. So I don't know if I'm going to vlog in the morning or vlog that night. I don't know yet. I haven't thought about it. But I guess we'll see whatever the next clip is. Good night. Good morning. Y'all, first and foremost, why did I wake up with my lashes like this? Like, one of them is regular, and this one was, like, glued to the top of my fucking eye. And it doesn't want to come down. And, y'all, I cannot take these lashes off. Like, oh, I lied. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Okay, they wasn't coming off yesterday when I was pulling them. So, oh, they coming off today. Okay, cool. Damn, I kind of really wanted to keep them on, but, well. They coming off. I could redo these. I could see myself wearing these for real, for real though. They did a good job. Let's go in and brush these teeth. I uh, got on project. This is what I went to work, y'all. Cause I told y'all it's spirit week and today is pajama day, child. So get on my pajamas and get. Oh, I gotta blow my nose, girl. Hold on. Dang, I just realized I only wiped my face with a makeup wipe last night and I actually didn't wash my, I have to do that. Ooh, it's cold, y'all. Like, it's so cold. It is 37 degrees outside. 37. My eyes water is so bad. Ooh, girl. And I got a headache. I'm about to take a spaghetti powder. Ooh, I'm not ready. Oh, I need me a good old cup of coffee this morning. Like, oh my goodness. Not even no iced coffee. Like, a good old cup of hot coffee. It's so crazy because I make my hot coffee. And I like my um iced coffee way different than each other. Like, my hot coffee, it gives very much grown woman. Because I be wanting to taste the coffee. Like, I don't put as much crema. And I don't really put sugar in it. Because, like, the crema that I use is kind of really sweet. Why is this 18-wheeler flying like that? On a regular street, girl, that's aggravating to me. But, um, yeah, like, I want me, like, a good old just hot cup of coffee. Like, mm, I just know it's finna get me right. I feel like I did come back and talk to y'all last night, but I kind of was rambling, so I don't even know if that made it. So, if that clip didn't make it into the vlog, <laughs> then, um, let's talk about last night. Okay, so, last night was pretty cool. It was fun. Um... It wasn't a lot of people, as I expected, because, like, when you RSVP, you can see how many people going, and it was, like, only, like, 20 people when I had checked. So, I'm like, okay, cool, something small and intimate. At first, I thought it was at somebody's house, but it was at, like, their little, it was, like, at a studio. It was kind of, like, at the place that we went to go record our song at. It's, like, a regular, like, recording studio. I think they also had, like, a podcast room. It was really cute and nice. I thought about vlogging while he was giving us a tour, but by the time we, I thought about it, we was halfway through the tour, I was like, forget it. But, like, um, he was just showing us, like, all their accomplishments and, like, the records that they produced that went crazy. Like, the person, it was a boy in there who had wrote some songs for Beyonce. It was a lot. Like, I was like, okay, cool, this is nice, this is nice, or whatever. So, um, more and more people had started to come and we was playing like Carisha please so I wasn't really recording that cuz I don't know you know like people when cameras is out and stuff you know people get weird but also like I'm not just the I don't know I don't be liking to record and me I don't know I was I was playing but I, I wasn't playing but they, we didn't come across no crazy questions that I felt like I didn't want to answer so it was cool you know what I'm saying but I wasn't uh, one thing about me I'm not going to be telling my people my business to a whole bunch of people I don't know. But everybody was cool. Um, what else? Met a lot of girls. I was trying to see, like, what everybody did, but, like, nobody was a vlogger. Like, nobody vlogged. So I was kind of like, okay. I was kind of, like, disappointed just a little bit just because I, I felt like I was going to meet some girls or some people who vlog or do content for real. But, like, it was mainly people who did, like, you know studio work or like work for like these some big companies and, and stuff like that but it was cool i remember a couple people names it's crazy because we didn't really exchange instagrams or anything like that so i don't know i guess it was i don't know i feel like the reason that i went there is it was just a good time like it wasn't on no networking shit which is cool with me like i don't want to be forced to like network 
so you know it was cool it was cool it was fun um me and ebony had a good time one thing me and ebony gonna do when we get together is we gonna have a good time regardless of like the circumstances even though it was fun like even if it wasn't fun me and ebony was gonna have fun regardless <laughs> so yeah and i like being out with ebony because ebony likes to talk to people and like i'm not really like that so like ebony kind of forces me to kind of get out of that like ebony forces me to get into conversation and to just you know open up a little bit so that was good overall it was a good night um last night i ended up getting my ticket to estg which is tonight this girl gonna ask me talking about did you get your ticket yet i'm like bitch no you ain't even told me you got yours <laughs> she was like oh i had been got it i'm like girl let me get my damn ticket but um with that it's not like no seats or nothing so it's like all standing up which makes me really really nervous really really nervous i don't know about that but I bought my ticket and I'm going and I'm going to just pray. Because y'all know lately, concerts been really crazy. And the fact that it's like really just everybody standing up just kind of rattles my nerves just a little bit. Oh, my nose. Like, oh, what's today? Oh, today is Wednesday. That means my podcast is coming on. Well, it's already on. Um, she already dropped it, I'm sure. Um, don't call me white girl. I got to watch her as soon as I get to work. Y'all, I'm so behind on my, my dropping my vlog. Like... I'm stressed out because I told y'all my Final Cut Pro expired and it's like pay $200 <laughs> or don't pay $200 and I'm like fuck so it was either go back to our movie I already told y'all this but anyways that's the reason that y'all haven't got a vlog by the time y'all see this it's going you know what I'm saying y'all been I like, got two vlogs by now but this is the longest that I've gone without posting a vlog in like a month and I'm kind of sad about it because what the freak and the only reason it's not even because like I don't want to be consistent because I've been editing every day but I've been using CapCut and it's been lagging so bad and like I'm learning how to work it while also like dealing with the lagging so it's taking me a whole bunch of time to get it done so on my break today I'm hoping that I can finish it up I got like 30 40 minutes left of the vlog to edit y'all and it's a long vlog like I'm already at an hour of editing and I still have so much more footage left to you. So, yeah, that's another reason. It's like a super long vlog. What are you doing? Girl, y'all, I just can't. Like, my nerves is just rattled. I'm sorry. Like, every time I get in this car, like, I just got to be screaming. Like, that's not me as a person. But, yeah, like, I just feel very behind. It's been five days since I posted a vlog. I have not gone more than two days without posting a vlog or some type of video. But it's all right. I'm I'm getting up with this cap cut. And honestly, I if I like I like cap cut so far. If I like the way this video turns out, I might just go ahead and keep using cap cut and just you know see how that works for a little while. If I don't like it after a while, I'm gonna go back to final cut. I'm gonna buy final cut for myself later down the line. I just don't want to spend three hundred dollars on that right now. I just I just don't. You know I just don't wish I had a man who I could just say, babe, can you get this for me? Can you buy this for me, please? Like, seriously, because, damn, why I got to buy everything by myself? Shoot. All the fun. Y'all, it's really crazy how much of a morning person I am. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. Getting up out that bed is extremely difficult. Extremely. But once I'm up, like, I am up. Like, I just be on 10. And it don't matter, like, what I had it did the night before. I just be up. The only time I'm ever down when I wake up is if I'm hungover or something like that or sick. Like, even with a headache, I'm kind of lit right now. And I don't know why, like, my... I, I, I think I know what it is, though. Because, you know, like, when you're on your period and you feel, like, real crazy in the beginning. And then, like, after that, you just be happy as hell. I think that's really what it is. Y'all, my period still ain't come on. My period is due to come on tomorrow and I better not have not no symptom because I didn't I had to go through it every symptom there was for the past four days five days so I better not have no symptom zero let me pay attention let me get to work and I'm gonna come back and talk to y'all once the work is done hopefully I give me a vlog posted on my lunch and yeah toodles okay I'm back at home 
That's what doing stuff after work is really like the Olympics because girl, it's already seven o'clock. Y'all had to take me a shower. I had to make me something to eat because I'm starving. The concert start at eight. I'm honestly not even about to try to put no makeup on. I really don't even care to do so. I don't even think I care to put lashes on. I'm just about to be with the vibes. Am I going to wear a head tonight? I don't know. I'm about to throw on one of them Ed Hardy jumpsuits, I feel like. Because why not? These noodles busting. Would you date a woman that already has children? Yeah. Subscriber Vicky want to know, do you go to the club? Nah, nah. I mean, I don't know. Some women be 40 looking like they 30, so I... Child, y'all can see I'm over here watching this TikTok dating. One thing about me, baby, whenever that lady, uh, come on, man, I click that name because her live is literally the only live I would sit there and watch. And because, like, it's not just dating. Like, um, what is it? Because y'all know a lot of people be doing speed dating on TikTok. Hers is actually, like, funny. So, like, she does, like, um, speed dating with comedy. And she also does, like, blind dates. So, they actually have to have, like, a blindfold on the whole time. She be cracking jokes. Like, there's no telling what the other person look like. They just literally just got to go based off vibes. And sometimes, like, they'll pick the person and that shit will work out. And they look good together. But sometimes, like, they'll say yes to somebody not knowing what they look like. And then they see the person, they be like, oh, hell no. <laughs> and it just be so funny because, like, don't nobody ever take it serious for real. Everybody just be like, okay, shit, that's fine. Like, some people be getting a little mad, but people really don't be kidding. But I like it. So anytime she's on live, babe, I'll be watching. I ain't gonna lie. I'm so ready to get in my bed, bruh. I'm so ready to get in my bed. I'm tired. I am tired. This week is drained me. And I gotta go to work Friday. Like, where they do that at? <sighs> All right. Let me put my shoes on. Leave the house. Fast I leave, the fast I can get back. <laughs> I'm gonna vlog on my phone because I'm not bringing my damn camera. I don't even think you can bring cameras to concerts. So y'all know. Quality switch. We going to the phone. All right, we out here. This motherfucking car. We're here. Not a real TT! back in the house it was such a good show y'all y'all know my energy was not there before i left the house but like it was so 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 worth the 40 dollars y'all we paid 40 bucks for that concert and we saw estg we saw uh 42 doug scooter yo Gotti. who else came out pap chanel i don't really listen to her though um Damn, it was somebody else, wasn't it? I think that might have been it. Girl, I might be missing somebody, but we paid $40 for that. I ain't going to lie, y'all. <laughs> when I see Yo Gotti come out, I said, oh, wow. It was really like a good little vibe. I had a time. I got me some good footage. I ain't going to lie. ESTG look good. Like, I didn't, I don't know. I never really be looking at no rappers and all that because I told you, I don't really like rappers. But he looks really good in person, like. Gotti even look better in person too. Like, I don't know on pictures and stuff, he don't be cute to me, but he looks really decent in person. And then he um 42 Doug. That nigga is really short. Like that nigga gotta be my height for real, for real. But he lit. I think he just got out of jail, didn't he? I said, okay, this boy outside doing them shows, making that bread. But I really wonder how much money they all made because the tickets was only $40. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody gotta eat. Ain't nobody performing for free unless they really just fuck with you. But come on, now, this is a business at the end of the day. Like, nah, not everybody coming up there for free. But um, what else I was about to say? Oh, y'all, I be realizing, you know, I'm about to get in the shower again. Because my hair smell like straight smoke. When I tell y'all, it was, oh my goodness. Like, when I tell y'all, y'all, I should have known it wasn't going to be nothing but hood niggas in there. 
because it was smoked out. I'm in that bitch coughing. I'm like, oh my God, my hair about to be smelling like a pound of weed. This is really crazy. But what I was about to say, damn, I really forgot that quick. Oh, I was about to talk about like my anxiety. I feel like my anxiety has gone up really, really bad when I'm in like public places. But my anxiety, y'all, my anxiety has got extremely bad when I'm in big crowds in public. I think, like, it's because of social media. Like, I never, ever used to think about possibly, like, getting shot or something bad happening up until all this stuff has been happening. I just feel like every day is something new on social media with, like, a shooting, a, this happening, this, this happening. And I'm like, we already at a hood nigga event. Ain't no telling who, I mean, they checking people at the door, make sure they don't got no guns or whatever, but it's like, who outside, though? You know what I'm saying? Niggas be waiting for you at the show. So, like, I don't know, the whole beginning of us getting, I was really, like, having anxiety because I keep feeling like people's shows keep getting shot up. So, I'm like, okay. I'm literally praying. I'm like, okay, God, please don't let tonight be one of them nights because, oh, girl. And then when we got in there, everybody's standing up. It's not one of those concerts where you get seats and all that. It's literally a stand-up concert, which was late. I actually enjoyed it. But, like, and being in big crowds like that, girl, if something pop out, somebody get into a fight, that shit trickled to everybody. And it's, I was just thinking of all the things that could possibly happen. And I'm literally asking God, like, God, please take this anxiety off me. Like, I have never, I never used to be like that. Like, I never ever used to be like that. I used to just be real optimistic, having fun and all that. And I know it's because we just have more access to the world. But, like, I don't want to be thinking about that all the time while I'm out. I want to be able to enjoy myself and not be thinking about what can go wrong or what's going to happen, who finna shoot. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not have to think about that. So, like, my anxiety was through the roof, but... It's crazy, like, once the concert started, he came out, it went away. Like, I just was having fun, living in the moment, just vibing. And then it clicked right back in when it was time to leave. And everybody just trying to get out that door. And I'm like, come on, Ebony, we got to go. Like, I'm literally telling her, like, let's go. We holding hands out there. I don't know. I got to get over this. So I'm going to just pray it off. Like, I'm good. I just be telling myself, like, okay, you you don't need to be thinking. Think positive. Because... Think positive, good things will come. Think negative, that's when, you know, that's when the bad stuff come. So, just think positive and become cool and collected. But I had a good time, y'all. I really, really did. It was so fun. It really said, this is the best $40 I done spent in a minute since said her week is in May. And I ain't gonna lie, I, I enjoyed it. And I've always been a fan of ESTG, but not to the point where I just was downloading every album and knowing every song like i probably know a few other songs that like more people don't know because if you're not new here i had like a little run on him like i was listening to him every single day but i don't got none of the new stuff so i need to get that the one um i think him and 42 doug got an album or song a mixtape whatever they got i need to get that i just need to get up on his music because i now I feel like damn why don't i know like his stage presence was so freaking good like he just was lit his songs really lit like people really know all his stuff like I, I feel like he should be way bigger than what he is I mean I think he is but you would have thought like he should have been at a bigger venue than that I don't know I don't know how this stuff works but hey it was a good night it is before 11 o'clock so what I'm about to do is I'm about to take me a shower <laughs> get this booty in a bed and I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys in the morning child good morning today is thursday which will usually be my last day of the week but unfortunately it is it i swear whenever i have to go in the office on a friday that shit really messes with my mood <laughs> like i am not a friday girl y'all like even in college i did not have friday classes like out of my whole college career i had friday classes one semester one because I was that determined to have Fridays off. And then when I was able to make my work schedule like that, it was, it was go. Like, I was too happy. It's okay, though. I only got to work one freaking Friday. It's all right. It's all right. So that means I got to put in a whole bunch of work today. That way tomorrow when I do go in, you know, like, you know how like when you get all your work done? That way when you do 
you know, go in like you working, but you ain't like working. You know what I'm saying? Like you taking your time for real. So that's what I need my Friday to be looking like. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. I done woke up late today for no reason. Like I literally went to sleep last night the same night. I, I, I mean, the same time I always go to bed. But today, I don't know. I mean, I literally just did not want to get up. I did not want to get up. My wig look a little crazy up close, but that's fine. Face looking a little ashy. That's fine. Let me wash my face. Y'all, I need some new bras, like, real bad. When I say that dry, you tear my bras up. Like, the clips on the back of them, bro, they hanging on by three. Because, like, what the hell? What kind of heat going on in that dry? And I don't even put it on, like, high heat. So, I gotta give me some new bras. And I feel like I've been I've been saying that for a minute. But I don't know where to get no bras from. Like, people keep telling me to get them from Target. But, like, I don't I don't think I want that. I don't know. Something's telling me, like, to try skims. Girl, I'm about to put face wash on my face. I don't want to try skims, bro. So, I think I might... See what they hitting for. I wonder if she gonna have another sale before the year is over. Because that's what I need. I need a sale from her. I'm super excited about like Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales. Because I think I want to do like another big haul before the year is out. Got to get my Christmas shopping done. I've already been having like a little savings account for that. That way like once I do get started like buying stuff, I won't feel like I'm just overspending or whatever. And I'm talking to y'all like I'm not late. Let me get in the car and we're gonna finish this conversation. I'm talking about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Woo, y'all, when I tell y'all it's freezing. It's 39 degrees and I'm just not built for this. I'm not built for it. Shout out to everybody who work from home. I wish I was you. Cause it's like it go. It's freezing. Seriously, y'all. Like, I cannot do this, bruh. Then I got on this little bitty uh, Halara jacket. This is my favorite jacket, though. I used to wear this jacket every day. But I need something a little bit thicker than this. So I need to um give me some jackets for sure. All my jackets are either, like, regular thin jackets or, like, big-ass coats. I don't have nothing in between. So I need to get, like, two or three just, like, regular jackets that I can wear out here in this weather i also need to give me some work clothes because <sighs> i mean honestly definitely because like i kind of need to y'all like i don't have no work clothes for the fall for real like all my work clothes is just regular like shirt and slacks the slacks are fine but i don't have no tops that will keep me warm so i have to give me some of those i need to give me like some button ups i need to get some more work shoes because y'all the work shoes that i have Tore up. I've been wearing them same work shoes that I got for maybe three years now. No, maybe two, maybe two, two years now. So it's time for me some new shoes, or whatever. But um, back to what I was uh, talking about in the house. I was talking about Christmas. I ended up starting me a um Christmas savings account. That way, like once it comes time for me to go shopping and all that, I don't feel like I'm spending my my own money. I mean, it's my money, but you get what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like I'm paying for it, for it out of my check when I'm getting paid because I already been putting the money up for it, and I'm just, like, free to just spend. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I got to figure out who getting what this year. I really don't know. I'm really not trying to go big for real this, this year for Christmas. I feel like last year I did a pretty decent job. I don't know how this year is going to go. I need to see what my sister wants. I honestly don't know what nobody wants. I don't even know what I want. Like, I haven't even thought about it, and I need to think about it. But I be telling myself, like, one of these years, I'm going to start saying, um, <laughs> I ain't buying no adults nothing. Because, <laughs> I mean, honestly, the main people I'm worried about is my sister and my godchild. Everybody else is going to get what they get. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Period. And then, I don't know. I want to give myself something, but i don't know i told myself i wanted to give me a designer bag for the year is out but i still haven't seen no designer bag that i want so there is that i don't know i might just give in and still get something i really like that loewe bag that i've been seeing the girls with that's really cute i haven't been seeing nothing else though like i don't know i guess like when i very first got into into designer stuff i just wanted everything but now that i just be seeing stuff and just like i just i don't know like i don't know i don't i don't really be heavy on that no more like i don't be heavy on wanting designer this and designer that like i just don't 
and granted i don't have a lot of designer stuff but like at one point that's all i would be online looking at it's like designer stuff and like oh I'm, I'm gonna get this i'm gonna get that i don't even do that no more and i'm glad i don't because and speaking of christmas i definitely i think i already told y'all but i really would like to do vlogmas to the best of my ability so i i need to really really come up with like um how this is gonna go for me i really want to do an intro which means i have to get on that shit like asap um yeah i don't know in order for me to do vlogmas though yeah i'm gonna have to go ghost for like two weeks so i'm just hoping y'all understand because that's the only way it's gonna be able to happen for me y'all know i work a nine to five child i can't edit and get a video to y'all every single day if i don't like badge film so i'm gonna have to go missing for like two weeks but hey it's okay um i need to really get started i probably need to start working on that shit today i need to like give me a little list going and get it together because yeah girl i'm really smelling like a bag of weed like oh uh, goodness Ooh, I'm feeling a little congested this morning. I don't got time for that. Girls, you gonna go or not? They like green for you, but I go. Got to know that. I think I'd really like some Starbucks today. I don't know if I really want coffee though. I do want the um that sausage sandwich that they got, but I don't know what I want to drink. I could see myself getting a refresher this morning. I've been drinking. I drank coffee. Uh, Tuesday and I drank coffee yesterday so coffee for today is gonna be a no I used to be really really addicted to coffee y'all whenever I first started my job I was like I was fresh out of college and I was still like one of those girls who was like I'm not drinking no coffee ew I don't drink that until my boss taught me how to make the coffee the way that I like it and she was like you know you gotta add what you want in there so i learned exactly what i like as far as like my high coffee goes and y'all when i tell you i used to drink coffee every single day i drank coffee every day for months and i cannot ever do that shit again because the effects it was having on my body crazy i think i'd be talking to y'all about the effects it be having on my body when i when i have too much caffeine if i drink caffeine all week every every single day it has my body just feeling so nasty and sluggish and like i just don't be feeling like me my stomach be messed up like caffeine just don't be it so i be picking some days out of the week where i'm gonna drink it and then i tell myself no we can't have no more caffeine this week so but oh wait i think that refreshes is caffeinated now that i think about it i don't know who vlog i saw that on and she was like I didn't even know refreshers was caffeinated. And I'm like, shit, I didn't eat either. But I feel like that's different. It's not like as much caffeine as coffee. So, like, I feel like I can get away with that. Because little do we know, it's caffeine and a whole bunch of stuff. You just got to read the ingredients. Oh, and I wanted to ask y'all, how did y'all like the last vlog? The vlog that had no intro. The vlog um, of me telling y'all I had braces. That vlog. How did y'all like that vlog? That vlog was edited on CapCut. Which is why I didn't have an intro on it, y'all. I oh my goodness, at that point I was so fed up. I didn't do no preview and I didn't do no intro. I said, F it. I'm trying to get this video posted. Did y'all like the editing on there? It wasn't nothing crazy, but I did do a couple of different edits. I had some different fonts. Do y'all even care about that type of stuff? Like, do you, I don't know. Y'all probably don't care, but I don't know. Can y'all tell the difference in the editing? Do y'all like it? Do that sometimes she incorporate more? I don't know. I just want my videos to be cute. Like, not too much. I hate people who do too much edits to their videos. But, like, just enough to where it's like, oh, she actually care and put time into it. Because I do. Of course I do. But I want my editing to be like that. I'm trying to think about who I like when it comes to editing. Because I do look to other people for inspo. But I also try not to copy people because, like, you know, I just don't want to do that. Don't get me wrong. A lot of people do a lot of the same stuff. You know what I'm saying? Just don't do it exactly how they do it. But a lot of people that I do like as far as editing goes, I love the way Kyra edits. But I think Kyra editing is just a little bit too much for me. Like, she, she's really good at editing. Um, I like the way 
the girl Arissa. I don't know if y'all follow her. I think her name is Arissa uh, uh, something. I just know it's Arissa. I love the way she edits. Like, it's so simple, but yet so cute. Like, she does a lot with her editing. A lot of small things. I think I'm somewhere in the middle. It's like I'm not too edity, and I'm not not enough. If that makes sense. I don't know. So yeah, I don't, I didn't sit here and ramble about that. Y'all probably don't even care. Like, girl, just push the videos out. <laughs> girl, my wig just be sliding back. Like, come on. Girl, why did they just text me talk about your automatic payment for Xfinity, bitch? Don't text this phone at uh, 818. Had to pay rent yesterday. I'm, I don't want to see another dime come on my account. Shit. What's the bill y'all hate paying the most? If I had to say, I think the bill I hate paying the most would have to be my light bill. I, it would have to be my light bill. Is it like I don't even mind paying rent. Like it is what it is. That light bill pisses me off every month because it's always different and it always just seem way higher than it what it should be. And I just be like, bro, it's only me and this bitch, and I be at work majority of the day. Every week, I don't be understanding. Oh my goodness, what is they giving away? Why the line wrap like this? And you just sitting here, girl, go. Oh well, I'm already here, so I'm gonna have to wait in this line. I need something. I'm leaving with something from running away. I'm leaving with something. I'm definitely supposed to be at work already, but it's okay. That's all right, that's okay. You're gonna have a burger someday. I gotta watch that movie because clearly it's stuck in my head. Thank you to the Starbucks and Tucker. My name is Shai. What's your name? Kay. Can I get started for you? Can I have a ham and Swiss croissant and a tall, uh, let's see, mango dragon fruit refresher with three pumps of classic? Is it what or lemonade? Lemonade. One second on the Let me taste this. That'll do. Okay, we got our food. We're all set. About to go ahead and head to work. I'm going to come back and talk to y'all probably either tomorrow. I'm going to say tomorrow. I mean today. But then again, it might just be tomorrow because today is the only day that I haven't done nothing this week. And I just kind of want to lay down. But I also think I should go ahead and work out since I didn't work out on Monday, yesterday. Or Tuesday. So, uh, I'll probably come back. I'll come back later. All right, y'all. I'm on break. And I bought my lunch, but I just did not want that. I really wanted some Popeyes, like, so bad. And I haven't had fried chicken in a long time. Like, I can't really remember the last time I had fried chicken. So, we got a so two-piece dinner with some, um, what is it? Uh, red beans and rice. What I had wanted to come on here and show y'all. I was just talking about a Loewe bag this morning. And this girl done found a dupe on TikTok. So, I'm trying to find it on Amazon though, but I don't see it. And her link ain't even working. And I'm kind of annoyed about that. I see people in the comments saying this on AliExpress too. But like, I don't, I don't, I don't want the replica. I want a dupe. But at the end of the day, it's kind of the same thing. I don't know. But anyways... Don't it look good? Like, it looks really good. And it's on Amazon. She said it's $70. And it's crazy because, y'all, I didn't even... I didn't know the bag was, like, 3K. I thought the bag was, like, 1K. I'm not buying no $3,000 bag. No. So, if I could find that one, that's what we're going to get. Okay. That's what we're going to get. So, I'm going to see if I can find it. But I'm over here editing. I'm about to get back to editing. I need to really redo. I cannot wait to redo my screen. I hate this vision board. I don't even know. Like, ugh. We're going to do so much better on um, this year's vision board. So I'm excited to make one. But yeah, child, we on break. Editing and eating. You know, the grind don't stop. <coughs> it don't stop. All right, we're at home. We're about to get ready to go home to the gym. I'm trying to figure out what um, gym clothes I'm about to put on because, girl, it's cold outside. It's cold. I need to put on some leggings. 
But it's my blue leggings a gray in this pile of clothes that I refuse to wash. But y'all was just watching TikTok. And um these girls was talking about Thanksgiving. And they was arguing about who was who was gonna bring what. And who was gonna buy what? <laughs> and they was like, oh no, you gotta do more than that. And I'm literally just thinking, like, girl, the day that they put me in charge of Thanksgiving, they can go ahead and hang it up. They can just go ahead and hang it up, okay? Cause like I don't wanna be responsible. I really, really don't. Don't <laughs> I really do not. I mean, once I get a man in the family, I don't mind hosting sometimes. Because, I mean, I know how to cook. I can cook literally everything for Thanksgiving except for gumbo. Nobody ever really taught me how to make gumbo. So, I would have to, like, learn that. But everything else I probably could make. But they ain't going to hang it up if they going to put that shit on me. Because I ain't doing it no time soon. Shit, and when I do get a fam, we going to somebody else's house for the first little, little second. I used to think that I wanted to, like, host people. And all of that, but hosting is a lot. It's actually like way too much for me now that I really think about it. Ooh, excuse me. Cause like all that cleaning up is a hell no. I'm about to put that jacket right back on that I had on that work. What is it at? But yeah, like is y'all y'all the representatives for y'all family now? Like y'all um the person who do Thanksgiving at their house or the person who cooks and all of that? Cause it ain't me. A single mom who works two jobs. <laughs> Bro, this wig is sitting on my head. That's insane. Like, y'all really can't tell. But it's, like, in person, it looks bad, kind of. All right, this is what we went to the gym. This what the body already is giving. Shouts out to Halara. Got top and bottom from Halara. Now let's take this behind to the gym. I'm a survivor. Good morning. Oh, my nose always aching up every morning. <sighs> but good morning, y'all. <sighs> it's Friday. I don't know. I'm kind of tired, but I'm not that tired. I'm hungry. I don't have no more breakfast food. And honestly, like, wasn't my goal at the beginning of this week to not eat out? I've eaten out twice, three times. I got to get it together. I mean, I don't have no more breakfast food, though. I really don't. Like, I don't have no grits, no sausage. All I got in there is pancakes, but I ain't got no syrup. So I didn't have no choice but to get breakfast. And then um, that cabbage, I still got some left in the refrigerator at work and i could eat that today but honestly i don't want it honestly i, I don't even know why i thought i was gonna eat cabbage more than two days because that's the max on me eating cabbage anytime anytime i'm ever cooked it i can't eat that shit past two days i don't know i mean i'm really not tripping though because i did a good job last week like when i said i didn't spend a dime outside on food i ate that little spaghetti every single day and it was good too like spaghetti be so good that'd be my go-to meal but yeah, I'm hungry, starving. I think I'm going to go to... I don't know what I want today. It's kind of giving like McDonald's McGriddle and a smoothie because I don't want no coffee and I don't want Starbucks like breakfast. So I might go to McDonald's today. But um, as y'all can see, yesterday we ended up going to the gym. The gym was um quick. It was like a little 45 minute workout. I worked out... um Not worked out. I walked on incline for what 30 minutes on eight baby that incline be tearing me up my back hurting right now from that damn incline and then after that i did three ab workouts over and over again until i was tired and then i left you yeah. i don't know i posted on instagram last night for some um gym or trainer suggestions because i think i'm ready like i'm ready to branch out because going to my gym just don't be doing it for me. Like, it does it, but it don't do it for me. Like, I don't be having no motivation to really get to it. Like, I'll, I'll get in there and do some stuff, but not, you know, but I really break a sweat. You know what I'm saying? I'm not breaking no real deal sweating up. So, I don't know. I think a couple of people wrote me back. I got to look at their replies um, when I get to work to see what they're talking about. I saw one boy asking me to train. Um, can he train me? And he looked like he been doing pretty good. I don't think he's an official trainer, but he just not making it to his fitness stuff. 
So like, yo, that's what I need, baby. I need somebody who ain't out here trying to text a bitch. So I'ma see what we talking about and go from there. And then when I left the um, gym yesterday, I had planned on editing, but I wasn't feeling it. So I said, forget it. Because y'all know right now I'm using CapCut and it just lags so freaking bad, which is why I kept saying I didn't want to go back. But I don't know, like I just had to try it again. Like something was going to change. I hate CapCut, bro. Like CapCut on your phone and CapCut on the computer is just two different things. Like it lags so bad. And then I saw one of y'all saying that the video um, was lagging or messing up or whatever. And it's crazy because I knew that, but I thought that that was just my computer. I didn't think that the video was lagging. So now I'm really fucking annoyed because... I'm trying to figure out if I should just take it back to iMovie, y'all. It, it's, uh, and I really don't want to. I didn't want to do that. If y'all don't know, iMovie is the simplistic, most simplistic editing software there is, there is, which means it's very easy to work, but it's also very, uh, like it's ugly. Like you're not able to do a lot to your videos. It only lets you do certain type of fonts. It only lets you do certain type of, um, transitions like it's just not a lot to work with but i don't know for the, for the sake of getting my videos out i might just have to go back or just pay the damn 300 dollars. like i don't know what's taking me so long to pay the 300 dollars for a final cut but i don't feel like i want to pay for that i don't know what it is like i don't know what it is but i kind of don't want to pay for final cut <laughs> like can i put that shit on after pay and not pay it all at one time so i don't feel like i'm you know Cause shit, like I don't, I don't want to pay that. But I guess I gotta do what I gotta do. And why is I hate when big ass trucks be flying? Because what are you doing? I don't think I'm gonna do anything today when I get off of work because I'm tired. Like this week has been a week, y'all. Like this week is similar to that damn week that I had that went out every single day. Like I cannot do this, bitch. I am a TT. I need to sit down somewhere. I can only do one one activity a week. That's it. I can't do nothing outside of that. I be tired, girl. I be sleeping. <laughs> yeah, for real, though, y'all. I really don't think I'm going to do nothing today. Like, I probably edit. I probably edit today when I get home from work. And my freaking camera about to die. Shit. I mean, this is where I was ending the video at anyways. So, um, yeah. It done got louder, y'all. know I'm on the highway on the way to work. Um, it's going to be the end of the vlog. I really appreciate y'all for like tuning in, like sticking with me. I really like feel the love and the support in the comments. Like I truly do. Like it's just an indescribable feeling. So I really, really love y'all for supporting me. I'm definitely super motivated to just keep pushing my vlogs out instead of taking a break. Like I knew I was gonna get over that hill. It just took me. It just took something that was gonna motivate me a little bit and push me to make me get over it. But I'm over that, and I'm just ready to keep giving y'all the, the vlogs and keep getting better with every aspect of it. So make sure y'all just continue to stick around. There's gonna be so much we're on the way comment down below some stuff y'all would want to see me do you know video suggestions we like the video guys subscribe to my channel if you're not already we are on the road to 10k i'm not gonna lie 10k seem really far but i feel like i might just get there before the end of the year so i'm excited turn on the post bell notifications every time your girl posts a video and yeah your girl is out i'm gonna see y'all on the next one